Hello everyone, this is Arlene with Design with Arlene. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you with a tutorial showing on how to make a fun card using the two inch circle punch. This is kind of a redo of the Facebook Live that I just recently had on my Facebook page, but it's with some different papers and different colors. So I'm starting out with the Art Gallery stamp set. This is a beautiful stamp set of 15 that will be available in the mini, or yes, in the mini catalog coming out in January. And then I have a two inch circle punch. I'm going to be cutting out some paper on that. So let me show you the cardstock I'm using. I'm starting out with the base of the card is in Bumblebee. So that's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet that I've cut in half, scored it down the middle. I'm going to fold it. This makes our card base. I also have a piece of mossy meadow as well as a smaller piece of Whisper White. And then I'm going to cut the circles out of the Fine Art Collection Designer Series paper. This is one of the sheets. I've cut it down to six by six. This is the size that you get in the paper shares, which I'm having next month. And then this is the flip side of this particular paper, but it's gorgeous that you can see how well. Love it, coordinates so nicely with the stamp set. So set this card stock aside and I'm going to start with the designer series paper and with my two inch punch, punch it out three times. I need three of these circles here. And then with these three circles, I'm going to fold over a portion of it and then repeat that on the other side, making like a cone or it reminds me of the, you know, when you get flowers the flowers are inset here in the bag. So make three of these. And then I like to take my bone folder and just give it a good crease. And then with a little bit of adhesive, I'm going to just a small amount. You don't need much. I just want enough to where that top piece that I've overlaid will stay down. And then I just, what I actually do is just set these down and I, this is heavy enough. I'm just going to weight it down a little bit while we do the rest of the card, just so that has time to dry. Taking my Whisper White cardstock, I'm going to stamp in Mossy Meadow, the stems and the leaves right here, this stamp. Okay, that's Mossy Meadow. And then because our adhesive is quick drying, these are ready to go. And I'll just place some adhesive on the back side of each of these. and then place them. These are actually going to be the flower. So they're going to just be placed next to each other. Like that. And then I want to have a little saying here. This I'm using the Tuxedo the Memento Black ink. Make sure I turn it around so I don't get it backwards. <laughs> and that says, I'm thinking of you. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the Mossy Meadow and layering it on top of the Bumblebee. Flip this over. And then same thing going to adhere our stamped piece of Whisper White onto the Mossy Meadow. Okay, now you can add a little center in here and what I've done is I love these little pearls. These are the beaded pearls and this is in the mini catalog. So it's available right now till, until the end of December. So you just have a couple days, but I'm going to place that right there for the center of my flower. I have many glue dots, but this is a little bit of a heavier embellishment. 
So I like to add a couple of them. So I'll just add two. And place that right in the middle. And you have this fun card made with the circle punch. Let me show you the one that I made at the recent live on my Facebook page. This is one that's similar to it. This is using the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And this is using some of the newer paper that we have in the catalog coming out in January, just with different colors. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.